Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of generative series in Touch Designer. In this video, we are creating a new generative visuals with Touch Designer from noise again. So first, I bring a noise from texture operator. I change the period number to 1.3 and I change the amplitude to 0 0.65 In transform, I go to translate C and I write apps time.seconds or I usually, I usually say every time.seconds because it's easier for me And in the common, I go to resolution and I change the resolution to 1000 and I put the pixel format on 32 byte float RGB. I want to have a better quality. So I get a copy from my noise for later. After noise, I add a feedback from top. And I add a transform. And after that, I add a bellow. For now, I turn off my transform. In the valor, I increase the filter size to 12 and the pre shrink to 2. Now, I want to use an image filter from my palette. Uh, if you happen to lose your palette, then you can bring it from here. Go to image filter and choose sharpen, which I already selected. I put the sharpen amount on 1 and after sharpen I add a null. Now I drag and drop my null inside my feedback. You can also drag and drop it in target top. Here at the end of my patch I add a null and before that I add a RGB key. Now I divide my screen to two parts. Now you see when I change the filter size, how my feedback is changing. Now in translate, I change the rotate number to one and you see that the rotation starts. But what I want to play with is the scale. Now before the blur, I add a displace from texture operator. And here in the noise that I copied, I change some of the parameters. First, I want to have color, so I turn off the monochrome. I make a bit of a space here. Now I connect it to displays and you see that everything turns white because our displays weight number is too high for this. So I change it to 0.005 and here in my noise I change the period number to 3 I change the harmonics to 5 I lower down the harmonic spread a bit and I lower down the harmonic gain to 0.26 now we get this very nice effect.
in transform, if we change the escape to a lower number than one, then we get this index movement. And when we give it like a number more than one, then the image kind of moves toward us. Now I want to make an animate for my transform. I want to use noise, which is more random. So I bring a noise from chop from channel operator. And here I'm too lazy to write this script again, so I copy it from my top noise and I paste it here. Now after noise I add an analyze. And I change the function to RMS power. Now you see that I'm receiving different numbers, but the range of numbers that I'm receiving is small. So I bring a math from channel operator. Now I want to map my analyzed number. So I go to range in math and in from range, I put the first one on 0.2 and the second one to 0.4. And in two range, I put the first one on 0.99 and the second one on 1.3. Now I want to assign this to my scale. So here everything turns black because my range number, the high number is, the max number is very high for this. So I put it on 1.03. So, but I don't want to have, like, I don't want to get any number outside of the range that I decided here in my math. So, before my math, I add a limit. And I put the type on clamp. And I put the minimum and maximum number on 0.2 and 0.4. Now, my math never receives any number lower or higher than these numbers. if you change the filter size also it's kind of it looks like scaling our lines now I add another math and for the from range I put the same number and in two range I put the minimum on 8 and the maximum on 16 Now I assign this new mask to my filter size. When my scale number is lower, my filter size is lower. So it's kind of also changing the size of the lines. Now here, after my second noise, which is the colorful one, I add a new operator, HSP Adjust from Texture Operator. I want to use this color also on my visuals, but I want to make it a bit less saturated. So I reduce the saturation multiplayer in HSP Adjust. Here, after my feedback loop, I add a composite and I connect the HSV adjust to this new composite. But before connecting my feedback loop, I need to add an edge. I put the strength on 0.5. Now here is what you get. I bring an emboss from texture operator and I connect my feedback loop also to this operator. I put the strength on 4 and I change the sample step to 3. And 
I put the midpoint on 0 0.72. Emboss is kind of like a bump map. Now I want to combine these two operators. So I add a new composite. And I connect these two together. I change the operator to difference. But I keep it and multiply. Now we have kind of a bumpy effect on our visuals. It looks like a bit like 3D, no? In the end, I add another composite and I connect my feedback loop to this composite. And I put it on game light. Now I like this effect. But here, after the first composite that we had, which was the combination of the edge and our color, I add a velar. I put the filter size number on 20 and the pressuring on 2. I add an edge after the velar. I increase the strength to 10 and sample steps to 10. I also change the black level a bit. Now here I add another composite and I connect the previous composite to this one. I change the operation to difference. Now I like this shader more than the previous one. Here I go back to the mask for my transform and I change the maximum range to 1.05. But I think when it was on 1.03 it was better so you can keep it on that if you want. And I higher the speed of the noise, of my chop noise. Here I multiply it to 5, so it's more fast. But it was very fast, so I lower down the number. So here I made a mistake, and I put it on 35, but I didn't notice. And I just changed the period and amplitude. I'm just playing with the noise. Now I noticed like that it's number is so high. You can play around with the parameters that you have on your noise, top noise and chop noise, and you will get different effects. Now here I also change the last edge color blue because it was super white and I didn't like the whiteness. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to receive more notifications for the future videos.